Connor Wood, thank you for stopping by here to talk to Page Six a little bit on your tour. You just literally got into New York so recently. How are you feeling living this tour life? I'm feel, I, I feel like I'm dreaming Okay. in a way of like, this is amazing, pinch me, and also like, is this, I, I don't even know what's going on. Is this real? Well, Things keep happening. That's the exciting thing to do because when I was researching about when you started kind of transitioning from digital to in IRL more performing, I love that you even had like almost like a vision board manifestation that you were gonna start doing stand up. Yeah. So how does it feel kind of looking back to like you a year and a half ago or so <clears throat> to you now? Like, does this journey feel surreal? Yeah, it feels so surreal. And it's crazy even looking back further than a year, mm -hmm. like at my jobs, I realized I was a personality hire. <laughs> so, okay, it was meant to be. That's why I was fired each time because I couldn't actually perform my role. But yeah, it's all kind of falling into place. I'd like to say it's manifest manifesting, um, but it is, it's also we're working towards it a little bit, a so. I th yeah. And you also probably are like, learning a little bit more about yourself and what works and everything like that. Like how do you kind of look back at any of old material you were doing and just being like, I thought that was funny. Oh my God, <laughs> Fanny. Connor. Yeah, every every yeah. word that comes out of my mouth. You know, people take like everything showers, like girls like, you go in, you shave everything and whatever. I take everything showers and I just go over every word <laughs> I've ever said. That's my everything shower. <laughs> Especially on stage, I'm like, wow, I did that joke, crap. But you grow. You, you grow. Yeah. You grow. And that's why you shave, because you have to grow the hair you that grows. You have to grow. Yes. Like a phoenix. Well, like a phoenix. And also because kind of with everything showers, while you're having this contemplation, how is touring energy? Because of <clears> course, <throat> when you even, even when you see like pop stars, comedians, everyone talk about it, it seems really like fun on paper. But then when you're in the weeds, you're kind of like just like suitcase to suitcase. Everything smells. Like how is the reality yeah. of it doing? I'm loving it okay. for some reason. I miss my dog, but everything else is fun. I, I, I really like hotel sheets. I think they're really comfy. I sleep really well in hotels. I'm loving the hotel thing. Um, maybe it'll hit me down the line. I was oh. actually talking to someone earlier. This is a lot, so just I'm back. gird your loins. But you're like, they're, gir they're yeah. girded. <laughs> um, I'm sitting cross yeah. They've been girded. Um, no, I was talking to someone, they were like, have you ever had mono? And they had toured before. And I was like, I have. And they were like, it's going to come back while you're touring. Because oh. it's so, like, draining. But we, we're doing so much. We're moving so fast that, like, your body actually doesn't have time to get mono. That, all right. And my go. body's literally like, hold on. We'll get to you. Sit down. <laughs> Wait, I do feel like that must be the hard part, not traveling with the pop. Like, did you, was there a part of you that was like, could that work in the world? Yeah, I got him. I got him the, the therapy dog thing. And then I got him the service dog thing. Because I need him. Yeah. The service he provides me is invaluable. <laughs> um, don't ask me what it is. It's just like... I, just like, I don't think you're allowed to. I like to look at him. Yeah. And, <laughs> like, that's a service to me. <laughs> for me. I, probably for the... If you, like, were doing that on trains and everything like that, people would probably be a little... Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but he... Yeah. I, I thought about it a lot. I think there's going to be some tours. I think when I go through Texas, I'll take him. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's never been on a plane. Actually, he's a rescue... Oh. I don't know his past. Yeah. He might have been a pilot. Yeah. I have no idea. And there's dogs annex. It all, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Truly, that's what I give my mama's two chihuahuas. They don't know what. They wake up and they're there. It's there you go. That's I what need humans to do. Yeah. Look into that. Um, but I'm also kind of curious because, of course, everyone started to know you from social media and then podcasting and now stand up, which is a really exciting growth. Yeah. And But I feel like because those all have similarities, <clears throat> but they're all very different at its core. Like, how was kind of getting into the writing aspect of stand-up when you came from like was there a learning curve you had to do it's like oh that's a TikTok thing but I can't really do it on stage there was a learning curve that I made up in my head which is crazy okay. I got every book about stand-up <laughs> I got you know because I was looking at the longevity of like a TikTok career and I wasn't sure and it scared me and so I was like what if I took this what if I took that TikTok and put it on the stage um, and I got actually Judd Apatow's book about stand-up I'm forgetting what it's called of course but you were too busy reading it. You I was, it, it, yeah. I was, di I, I had divin, divin dived in, dove. <laughs> I don't know about the reading retention. This isn't a, yeah, but... this isn't a grammar pod, podcast. Okay. Yeah, I, I was like in so deep in the book. And then at some point he was like, I start with a punchline and I go out like a spiral. Mm. And I build the joke around the punchline. I like that. So that's what a TikTok is. It's so succinct and it's fast. And they, you get to the point so fast because you're forced to. But on a stage, you can build it out. I... You can fluff it up. And people like that. So that's... Yeah. When I figured that out, it was it was great, and I figured out that 
you're, you, you can read so many books about stand up unless you do stand up. Yeah. You're not going to learn anything. I'm also picturing you like with the sweater reading. Like you do kind of give me very intellectual. <sighs> like West Coast grandma yeah. vibes. You're really this. with the t- it's coffee but it's giving tea a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do you cuz I know it is a funny thing cuz I mean you do dress well. Like is <laughs> getting or you have like yeah and you're like your style seems very like conscious. Is that do you try to like like do you cuz like I feel like the fun thing is like picking up fun tour looks. Do you do that or do you kind of just wear what you have? I Love coming to New York because I take I go right into my friends' closets and I take their stuff. But about this the style thing, it's like kind of unintentional, but it's mm-hmm. also because when I open my mouth, you're like, ew. So it's <laughs> nice like when I'm dressed nice, you're like, okay, he's approachable yes. and he's not gonna like steal my wallet. But then when you hear me talk, it's like, okay, it kind of balances out. This I do know that you don't live in New York because the second you came in, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna leave my wallet in the green room. I was like, that is that yeah. is a trusting of a, someone who comes from a car place. <laughs> There's an air tag in it. <laughs> Find it. I mean, I left my backpack on the train on the Amtrak right. this morning, and I was like, okay, so at least there's only my wallet, my passport. At what was the backup for my ID and my wallet, my laptop that I need. Oh, and like all, all the, all the, everything I need actually now that I get, and I was like, I'll find, I'll go get it in Boston after the page, after I talk to page six, but it was still there. The train had not left yet. So I was able to receive, go get it. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't, it's, I'm spoiled because I I leave my wallet everywhere and it's always there when I go back. (laughs) That is a good, okay. It's kind of like a boomerang. It is. I think I'm going to say that and like, we're going to go out and it's It's, gone. gone. (laughs) And And they just left the air tag. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, out of respect. Yeah, they're like, because you can use this for your next wallet. Literally, yeah. if they just left my ID, I'd be like, thank you, so I don't have to go to the DMV. Credit cards. That's a different. Credit thing. cards are replaceable. Memories and your ID are not. Mm-hmm. And because this is page six, we really love a little. You know, we keep up with news. Yeah, and everything like that. Finger on the pulse. Finger on the pulse. Finger on the pulse in your wallet. Um, I love that you. One of your TikToks was you like living your best life from a distance with Taylor Swift at the Grammys. Yeah. Are you, because oh, yeah. I know there's been a lot, there's like almost a divide on social media. People that want more Taylor, Travis, eras, everything. And some that's like, can the girl pump a break? Like, what are, where are you a lot? Where are you on the Taylor scale? Um, I keep up. Okay. It's, it's part of the game. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep up. Um, I'm into it. I, to be honest, I just want to be very frank. The, the TikTok I posted, I was just view farming Taylor. Oh. I knew that it would get a lot of views, and that's beneficial for me. I love her to death. Yeah. I was also standing and dancing alongside her. So at that point, there was a soul connection, which can't be broken. <laughs> I like that. But <clears throat> that video itself, I was kind of taking advantage of the current climate of, of Swift online. Yeah. I feel it's kind of the constant climate. Like she's just going to argue. But I, I feel like now her. you have to like dive into the tortured poets. I'm you going also, to. I feel like you're gonna love that album just from the sweater. I, I'm going. The sweater to. really is giving me a lot about you. Which I, like. I, I like the sweater over the shoulder. No, I, lo- over, I, I, look, I love it. Think about what a sweater can do to a t-shirt. And this other story that I feel like you probably have been. I hope you have been as into it as we all, Kate Middleton. Oh, oh, I'm in a rabbit hole with what Kate is Middleton. Going, like, what do you think is going on? Can you solve it? I genuinely think she's sitting at home. Like, doing what? What would you be picturing Kate Middleton doing right now? Um, probably. Sitting like me in and with the same sweater, it's probably the same sweater. Um, and you she's, are her she's probably reading with her tea. Okay. Um, and her kids are with and kids are running around. She's probably resting after the BBL. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no. no but no, no, I mean, no. No, but that's I've read, ever... I've seen everything. Yeah. I hope you know nothing would maybe because I never was someone to super care about the royal family. If she came out with a BBL, I move it. I'm like, You're that's, my, that's oh. the people's princess. Now I'm aligning more with <laughs> yes. the UK. God save the queen. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, but I am kind of also, because it was really funny how they made her put out an apology for photoshopping poorly. Did you see that? Wait, so I saw the, the image that came out with her and the kids. The kids. And that was scary. Yes. A little bit. It was very Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. But everybody's face tuning their photos. That's the thing. So... I, I think everyone that, that came out with the circle, circling all the inconsistencies, mm-hmm. let me see your Instagram. Let me see how many lines are, are squiggled. I mean, because that would be the thing. I feel like if we have to make the princess go through it, yeah. everyone would have to fess up to the, Right, uh, I don't know. right. I only know about this, by the way, on on surface level, and I'm sh- unsure about the implications of oh. if if worst case has, has 
happened. I don't know what that means. I, mind you, no one knows anything, which is a thing, because they're just kind of like not talking about it, right. which is weird energy. Good, good second movie if it's a weekend at Bernie situation. <laughs> that is what Don nice Oliver was giving. Follow yeah. up. God forbid. God. Knock through time. Goes without saying. Yes. Wait, but what a final thing I wanted to pick your brain about because I saw you just talked about this recently. Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. What's your favorite flavor? Um, it was Thin Mints for the longest time. Frozen or not? Frozen. Mm -hmm. All of them go in the freezer. All? Even the shortbread one. What is that tag along? Yeah. They're better cold. Maybe because it's harder to chew, and I'm like a, a dog. You gotta freeze my treat, so it takes me longer to get through. <laughs> you have through. your own Kong with peanut butter. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> rah, rah, rah. I'm gonna eat the sleeve. Is the situation uh -huh. too? So anything to slow me down, get like a speed bump, not a stop sign, <laughs> helps me with the. I love that. And a final thing, because you are at the Bell House this Friday, which is super super fun. Mm -hmm. What is like your post show? Riding a high? Are you going out? Are you like cozy, like sleepy time tea? What is the post-show energy? It depends. Um, the energy's always really high at the okay. end of the show, and I do, I want to go out. I want to. Your heart wants to. But my, my legs won't move. <laughs> <laughs> my heart is not in it. Okay. My head wants to, my heart's not in it. But it may be different after Bell House in Brooklyn, because I know the energy's going to be through the roof. So. <laughs> Vibe. Twist yeah. my arm. Okay. Even just lightly. <laughs> I was going to say, not touching your arm, but okay. Yeah. But we'll see you out in Brooklyn then.